I just want to take an opportunity to say welcome. This is a very uh, nice sight to see this room full of people. Uh, larger academy class than we've had in quite some time. Um, back up. Hopefully everyone knows I'm Chief Thompson. Um, and I uh, just wanted to take a second to say that um, I'm, I'm glad to see everyone here this morning. Um, you're getting ready to spend six months in the academy. I can't tell you what that's like because I did not go through our academy. Um, but I can tell you that it's one of the best uh, training environments in the state. And we take pride in making sure that we train you so that when you come out, get into field training, that you are prepared to be a police officer for the city of Greensboro. I do remember the first call I went on in field training, absolutely terrified at the time. Um, but what I remember most, and, and I can still absolutely picture it today, was after, after the academy, after field training, getting my first assignment, getting the keys handed over to me saying, go load your stuff up, you're on your own, and sitting in that car for the first time, going into the community, recognizing the achievement that I had become a police officer, that I had passed everything I needed to, to be on my own. Holy crap, uh, I'm expected to go out here and do my job. So you'll have a lot of first over the next six months into field training. Um, but our goal here is to get you through all of that so that you can be sitting in the car by yourself as a Greensboro police officer out here serving the community. Recruit Martin. I saw him for the first time when we were practicing basketball for our team, and I apologize because I thought you were a firefighter. Because <laughs> it, it was a police firefighter team, and I had never seen him before. So I have a whole new respect for you now that I know you are part of our team and you're not a firefighter. So I just apologize that I made that, that assumption. There are four things when I was selected as chief in December of 22 that I talked about in my promotional ceremony. One of those is hard work, another is humility, another is compassion, and the fourth is service. And, and I think if, if you can grab hold of one of those things and, and utilize those in your work, you know, I get right now you're in the academy and uh, we're gonna ask you to work hard. When you get out of the academy and get into field training, you're gonna have the opportunity to serve others you're going to have the opportunity to use compassion in the work you do. And, and hopefully uh, throughout your career, whether you're in the academy or in the field, um, you'll always remain humble in what you do. So you may or may not get a pop quiz sometime in the future about those four things, but those are things that I've relied on in my career and uh, really tried to focus and guide me in, in the decisions I make day to day and, and throughout my time as a police officer. So take that with what you will, um, but congratulations. Um, you've made it this far, it's a big step, but I wholly anticipate every single person in this room to be on stage with a family or friend uh, pinning your badge on for uh, a graduation and then onto that next step of field training. Welcome and, and thank you for, for being here.